Good morning, family. Welcome back or welcome to Lin Lin. Thank you guys for coming and checking out my video today. It has been a little while since, <clears throat> sorry y'all, I almost choked just a minute ago on my spit, which is crazy. Rewind that back. Anyways, guys, it has been a little minute since I put out a video. I want to say it's been probably like three weeks or something like that. Honestly, it's been a minute. And I went into the month of June um, saying that I was going to post a whole lot more. But honestly, I was working like crazy the whole month of June. I was working pretty much like six days a week, sometimes seven. I was working double shifts, uh, maybe two to three out of the days I was working a double shift. So I was completely burnt out and I was like not in the mood to do videos. I didn't have the energy to do videos on my days off. I was still getting up early, but I just didn't have the motivation to get up and go to the store and do a video. I have changed the things that I have been eating lately because I wanna say when I was working, um, the whole month of June, as much as I was working, I noticed that I started to feel really, really fatigued. Um, I had, I was irritable. I had loss of appetite. Um, my weight was fluctuating up and down. I just felt like I couldn't get it together. I ended up doing some research because I'm one of those people, if I think that something is going on with me, I will get on Google, of course, and I will Google like symptoms and side effects and all kinds of stuff like that. I'm self-diagnosing myself all the time. I just get online and I do that. So, I came across something called adrenal fatigue. And honestly, all the symptoms of adrenal fatigue, I felt like I was going through. I told myself that what I want to do is switch up my diet. I was not eating the best that I should have been. During that period of time when I wasn't eating the best way I should have, I was, like I said, I was extremely fatigued, extremely irritable. I was just eating sweets nonstop. That's one of the things that when I'm on my, when it comes to that time of the month, when I'm on my period, I tend to eat a lot of sweets. Now, if you've seen my videos and you know, I don't buy a bunch of sweets to put in my house, but when I'm at work, there's vending machines, there's a corner store, you know, so I was going and getting things like that, getting things out of the machine, eating chips. Um, I was not drinking soda or anything like that, but I wasn't drinking as much water as I probably should have been. And pretty much I was going off pure adrenaline for most of the time that I was working. Like, But I honestly just didn't have the energy that I should have had. And so I said I needed to fix that. So what I did was I went online, like I said, I researched it and I figured, hey, this could be what's wrong with me. It could or it could not be. I haven't been to the doctors or anything to get any tests to see if this is actually what it is, like any blood test or anything like that. But what I did research was how I can fix this on my own. Got like some powders, like some ashwagandha powder. I got some mecca root and I got some um, moringa. And so I started taking that for the past few days. I've been taking it consistently. Um, and I have noticed a little bit of a difference. I'm not as tired as I usually would be. And because I have slowed down working as well, but I'm not as tired. Um, another thing is I wanted to switch up my diet completely. Now, like I said, if you guys have watched some of my videos, then you know that I stopped eating ground beef a couple months back. I don't know exactly how long it's been, but I kind of want to start cutting out some other stuff too. Like I want to eat chicken, but I only want to eat chicken like maybe once a week. I want my diet to be mostly vegetarian. I have been a vegetarian in the past. My family, my whole family, my husband, myself, and all four of the kids have been on a vegetarian diet for months at a time and I have had no problems. There was a point where I was not eating eggs. There was a point where we did not have um, any salt intake, things like that. So I have no problem going vegetarian. I have no problem not eating meat. I have no problem cutting things out of my diet for myself as well as my kids because as you know, whatever you give your kids is what they will eat. So if you don't have it in the house, then obviously they won't eat it. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of update on what has been going on. I did not quit YouTube. I have not. I have come too far to just be like, I'm going to quit. Um, I will take a break for a while if I need it. If I feel like I need it, I will always take a break. 
but I am back and I'm about to head into Winco. I do have my little helper with me today. He's in the back seat on the tablet. Let's head into Winco and let's go shopping. All right, let's go. It's another beautiful day out here today too. It was almost 100 degrees yesterday. Actually, I think it did hit 100 degrees. Today, it's supposed to be about 89. Sometimes I come so early that they have this front part right here blocked off, which I hate when they do. So I have to go the other way. They're stocking all over there. I'm gonna start over here and just grab my water first. Usually I wouldn't start over here first. I would go straight to the um, fruits and vegetables, but they're in the way and all that thing is beeping over there and it's kind of loud. So we're gonna start over here with the water and I'm gonna get four of them. If you've seen my videos before, then you know that I buy distilled water and I mix it with lemon and some trace mineral drops. Lately, I've been using lime and I noticed that the flavor is a little better than what it is with lemon. And I've used lemon for 10 years, but um, I've been mixing it with lime and it's not bad. I did go to Walmart a couple days ago and I got some nectarines, peaches, and plums. And I got a whole bag of them. I wanna say the bag was four dollars and 48 cents and it came with um seven or eight of the nectarines and the peaches and then the plums it had about 10 of them in it so i think it's a better deal to buy it in the bags at walmart than it is to buy them individually um in here these things are 548 a pound and they do not look good in here at all yeah, I'm definitely going to pass on these today. I was going to get some because I keep seeing people post about them, like on Facebook. I don't know if they have these cherries everywhere, but these are a Washington cherry, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not sure, but these batch right in here, they do not look good. So I'm definitely going to pass on these today. I hope the rest of the fruit looks a little bit better. They got some grapes. And everybody still only has seedless watermelons. They have a bunch of them, but I do not want seedless. I want seeded watermelons and they do not have any. These ones right here are 48 cents a piece or 48 cents a pound. One of the things on my list is some romaine hearts. These are $2 and 58 cents. So I'm gonna grab a pack of these. <clears throat> Their strawberries are $2.98, so they have definitely gone up from when they were, um, what, the beginning of the summer. But these ones do not look good. I might go over to Fred Meyers. I think theirs are like $4.99 for the big ones, though. Another thing on my list is some spinach. The spinach for this bag right here is $2.28. So these cherries over here are $2.47 a pound. Let's check these ones out. These ones don't look bad. Although the price on the cherries have been kind of going up and down, the best place to get the cherries, I've noticed from my experience of buying the cherries, um, has got to be Walmart. I've never seen these ones. So these say oyster mushrooms. These are the ones that I've seen people cooking with those. And then I've seen people cooking with the portabella, portabella ones. So one of the recipes that I want to cook calls for the portabella mushrooms and it's a fajita, um, which pretty much you're using the mushrooms and then all the peppers and stuff that you would use for the regular fajitas but you're just substituting the meat for the mushrooms. Then I'm also gonna get some of these ones down here because I have another recipe that I wanna use, or maybe I should get the package. I don't know, the package ones are 248, then these ones down here are 398 a pound. My only thing is when I get the package ones, they seem to go bad a little bit quicker than these ones down here would. All right, so I got my mushrooms. They got some apples right here. I need some apples. I have Granny Smith apples. For some reason, the kids haven't been really eating those ones lately. I've been on a hunt for ambrosia apples. These don't have the price on them over here. 
Let's see, they have the Honey Crisp Apples, the Fuji, the Gala, and the Pink Ladies, or the Pink Apples. $248 and then $198 for the other ones. Um, What kind do I want today? I haven't tried the Pink Apples. I think I'm gonna give these ones a try. They are a dollar, well, less than a dollar more, but I'm gonna give these ones a try today. There's two, four, six, it looks like 10 of them in here. So that's not a bad deal for 10 apples anyway, 248. I've been using bananas a lot because I've been using them in my um, protein shakes and as well as in my smoothies. So I'm gonna get two of them just because the kids eat them too. But only when there's certain ripeness. My kids are very picky when it comes to bananas. So I'm gonna get two of these and the bananas are always 58 cents a pound. What'd you say? I am going to juice. I started juicing again. This one looks good. I started juicing again um, a couple days ago and I juiced, what did I juice? I juiced Oh, oranges and carrots. So I made orange and carrot juice and it was really, really good. The kids drank it as well. So I'm definitely gonna get some more carrots and some more oranges um, and then the pineapple. I'll add some pineapple or something to it. The ginger is 348 a pound, but these come out pretty cheap. These be like, I don't know, a dollar and something. This is a big one right here. The avocados are 98 cents each. The avocados have always been kind of on the expensive side to me. I don't know why they're always a dollar a piece. I feel like they should be a little cheaper than that. Sometimes they go like to 89 cents, but right now they're 98 cents. I'm gonna get three of them and I'm gonna use these to make my own homemade guacamole for um, the shrimp and the cucumber little things that I'll show you guys. I'll actually show you guys when I make those. And I'm gonna grab every color of pepper, the green, the red, the orange, and the yellow. And they are a dollar forty-eight and then a dollar seventy-eight for the red and then eighty-six cents for the green. I always wonder why the green ones are always the cheapest ones. And then usually the red ones are the more expensive ones. You guys know why? Comment down below if you know why or if you've ever noticed that. The green ones are cheaper than all the other ones and then the red ones are the most expensive either way i'm gonna grab one of each of these right here some carrots the two pound bag of carrots is a dollar 68 like i said i will use these for juicing and i usually just get this one right here because if i get a bigger one i feel like it will go bad faster so i'll just stick with these this one it has a pretty good amount it has about I wanna say about 12 of a minute. And I think when I juiced for each cup, I used about three carrots. I love these little cucumbers right here. This one, is this the same bag? These ones look, this bag looks a little different. I don't know if this is the same one. And I feel like this one has less than it. Okay, so usually there's about six of them in a bag. So maybe they're just, like I said, sometimes it looks like they're skimping on stuff because there's less in it. But you know what, it's only $1.98, even though there's, oh, this one has five of them. So that one just had four. This one has five of them in it. These are $1.98. I really, really like these mini cucumbers. They're really good if you're mixing them with like um, some tomatoes and um, apple cider vinegar or something like that. These are on my list as well. These little potatoes right here, these are $3.48. It's kind of on the expensive side for these little bags of potatoes, but I have a really good recipe that I want to um, to make using these. Got the the trio. Okay, so they have the little trios, the little duos, and then little reds, and then the little yellows. So actually, I think I'm supposed to have the trios because they're supposed to be all the colors. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but... Yeah, I guess it does. Well, you know what? I'm going to get it just because the recipe that I've seen calls for these ones specifically. Of course, I'm going to get some broccoli. The broccoli is $1.68 a pound. 
the tomatoes are a dollar and 28 cents i like my tomatoes a little hard i don't like to cut them and then they be extra squishy on the inside so i prefer them to be a little hard these ones are all kind of soft let's move over here okay got my three tomatoes I also need cilantro and I need green onions from over here. Green beans are $1.78 a pound. The Brussels sprouts are $2.98 a pound. And then the green onions are $0.68 cents a pound and the cilantro is $0.88. Cents. No, the green onions are $0.68 cents each. The cilantro is $0.88 cents each. Let's see. So I only want one thing of green onions get these ones right here and then I'm gonna get one thing of cilantro and get this bunch right here and we come down here to the Brussels sprouts I think I'm gonna get 10 of them because I cut them in half so 20 should be enough that's three four These ones are pretty big too, so this should be good. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna grab a bunch, a handful, I'm not gonna count them out or anything. Grab a hand, a couple handfuls of green beans. The five pound bag of potatoes is $1.28 right now. The four pound bag of oranges is $5.48. But how many are actually in here? Let's see, you get two, four six so you get six of them in there i guess that's not bad two four six seven so there's seven of them in here for 548 i guess that's better than picking your own because i think they're like 98 cents a piece you grab a bag of these for the kids they like to eat these ones I like to make sure they're all good and not all squished up so this bag looks good we'll get that one uh, he's supposed to be my helper in here today. Hey, you're supposed to be my helper. What happened? I, I, was, I get distracted. You get distracted? I want to come back over here real quick because I've seen that they just put out some strawberries. So I want to see what these ones look like, if they look any better than the ones that was sitting over here. I hope they got rid of those ones and can just put these ones over them. Let's see. Let me get, uh -oh. I mean, open it. I'm gonna grab two of these. Grab these two. Oh, they have the salads, guys. Remember the salads I was going crazy about that were 98 cents? They are 198 in here now, which is not bad. So they must got an influx of them again. So since I'm in here and I see them, I'm going to grab a couple. These are good for like when we go to the park or something like that and we wanna sit down and just eat a salad real quick. This one right here is my absolute favorite. Yes. The Santa Fe style with chicken. Dressing in here, that's really, really good. It's a, it's a salsa ranch dressing. So I'm gonna get two of these ones. And then they have the Asian style with chicken. It has like edamame in it, I think. Yeah, it's got some fire roasted edamame. I don't want that one though. Then they got the chicken and Caesar. I'll get one chicken and Caesar and then one Chick oh, this is chicken and bacon Caesar, sorry. And then this one is chicken Caesar. And then they have a turkey and bacon cob. I'll get that one as well too. I need some Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna get two different ones this time though. This one right here is the freshly shaved, the big ones. I want this one for a recipe that I've seen. I know I keep saying these recipes that I've seen but it looked really good and it had this Parmesan cheese on it. And then I also want the regular one, which I don't see. It's the regular shredded. This one is grated. That's not what I want, freshly shredded. Okay, here we go. So I got this one and then I also got this one. So the shaved and the shredded. So I like coming in the store early because it's less crowded, 
but I hate that they have all these things going off and they make all this dang noise in here because it's so loud. I want to get some shrimp. These are the jumbo ones. These are $6.98. But I am going to get the swai today. And you know what? I think I'm going to get one more pack of the... Yes, buddy. I know. I'm going to get one more pack of the jumbo shrimp just because I might use it for something. I want to look at the chicken. I kind of want to put some chicken on the grill. I finally got me a grill and I just want to put some chicken on it and some zucchini. And this right here looks good. This is chicken thigh, iron ranch chicken thigh. This is, oh no, this is, this is drumsticks. This is chimichurri and this is polo asada boneless leg meat. Okay, so this is not what I'm looking for. Um, but these are fairly priced. These are six dollars. Uh, that one's five dollars and some change. Six dollars and twenty cents. Drumsticks are a dollar and twenty-eight cents a pound. Um, so their prices are pretty reasonable. These are six forty-eight, five forty-five, five thirty-eight, five twenty-two. This pack right here is four seventy-two. This is the one that I'm going to get. Um, I don't need a big one because I don't need it for much. So I'm gonna get this one right here. This one is a dollar twenty-four. I still have not found the coconut chocolate milk. And I'm starting to think that they just don't have it because I've gone to several stores looking for it and I cannot find it. This is all I find. They have almond chocolate milk, almond dark chocolate milk, but they don't have coconut. I'm actually trying to stay away from butter. Butter is one of the other things that I told myself I was going to stop using. So do you guys know of an alternative to butter besides the oil? Um, I have grapeseed oil and I'm actually gonna get some avocado oil in here today. But do you guys know, leave a comment of an alternative for butter that's butter-like. 60 count eggs is $16.38 in here right now for this one right here. I think I'm pretty good on eggs still. We have these Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls, $2.48. The sandwiches are $9.98. I wanna get frozen fruit to start making my smoothies um, so that I can add my Moringa to them because honestly right now I don't know how to use my Moringa without it just overpowering everything. If you guys use Moringa and you know a good solution to um, taking it, leave a comment below and let me know because right now the only thing that I think that will work is me putting it in a smoothie. I'm gonna get this Tropical Fruit Melody. It has mangoes, papayas, pineapple, and sliced strawberries and this is four dollars and 48 cents now guys i have been using for a couple weeks now when i tell you this smells so good this is five dollars and 27 cents and it lasts for a couple weeks i want to say because a little bit definitely goes a long way with this soap let's see the canned tuna 88 cents a piece I don't have tuna. Usually tuna is one of the things that I have a bunch of just like stored in my cabinet. But I was looking for some a couple days ago and realized I don't have any. So I'm just going to get two of these. Yeah, these ones, these ones look better. Okay, so I got some linguine noodles. Let's find the farfalau. I know that's wrong, but <laughs> I don't even care. Like, I don't even see them though. I know what they look like. But here we go. Farfowl. Farfowl. What are they called, y'all? Farfowl, farfowl. I don't even know. I also need, there was one other noodle that I needed. Let me look at my list because I cannot remember. Oh, egg noodles. Okay. Wide egg noodles. These are $1.50. I also need some apple cider vinegar. I've been using this um, for salad dressings. I've been using it for cucumbers. I've been using it for tomatoes. 
so here we go sun-dried tomatoes down here I'm gonna get the one with Italian herbs this one is five dollars and 48 cents all right family so let me show you my basket my basket is all over the place and usually I'm way more organized than this if you've seen my previous videos then you know but because I had this little one right here with me who kept going from the top to the bottom of the cart and kept moving my stuff all around, everything got all over the place. But I got a few things here. I got some waters down there, some peppers, mushrooms. I got spinach, potatoes. I got um, pineapple. I got strawberries. I got cherries. I got beans. I got uh, pasta. I got these salads right here that were $1.99. I got a couple burritos for the older kids that like those kind of things. Then I got some laundry soap down there. I got chicken. I got some taquitos and things like that for the kids. I'm going to head to the register now. Leave a comment down below how much you guys think this will all come out to. You done? I'm done. You see you? He asked me, am I done? Am I done? You yes. ready to go? Yes, I ready to go. You ready to go? Yes. You didn't even help me do anything. Spider-Man is nice. Thank you for video. It's my video. I do videos for YouTube. Yeah, I just record my food that I purchased and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I'll probably use four of them. $193.56 is my total. $193.56. All right, family, that is the end of my shopping trip video to Winco. Um, thank you guys so much for coming along with me. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys all in the next video. All right, bye.